the first videos I did when I resurrected this channel was on jibing, like a how to jibe. Um, what I found was stuff there wasn't really much around for the RS800. Most of it was, um, you know, 29 er sailing or 49 er sailing, and you can learn quite a lot from those videos. But um, you know, some specifics to the 800. So I put a little video together called. Uh, I think RS800 House Jive or something like that. Links in the description below. It's still quite a good video and it's got the technique that we used all of last season, or the technique I as the helm used all last season. And um, so it's kind of perfectly fine. But over this last winter, we've been uh, looking at how we can improve it. So yeah, this is a video just on the kind of little changes we've made. So first of all, this is an example of the old jiving style so what I do is press play on this I step with my back foot out the foot loop and first step to the gunnel as I go in um, I then plant my foot feet either side of the boat through the middle of the jive giving me a nice wide base move this hand along uh, boom comes over and then this was something about November time I was trying going out straight on the handle um, just to get the weight out sooner and then leave the crew to hook me on after the jibe. So that's pretty much kind of where we got to with with the jibes. Um, as you can see it's a, um, a pretty solid technique but there was a couple of things that I didn't like about it. I mean this jibe is really good but um, the consistency wasn't quite there on them so I'll just point out a few of the things that I didn't really like and wanted to change uh, first of all was as I was going into the jives I stood up really tall which meant my center of gravity is quite high in the boat and with no, you know, there's no load on the sheets so there's nothing to pull you on so as you start your turn if you stand up into this tall position you can find yourself off balance. Um, the other thing is, as you step onto the gunnel, as you step onto the gunnel, your feet are quite close together, um, which obviously means you can't spread the load as wide, it's less stable. Um, the other thing I didn't like about the entry was this hand and tiller extension is often quite high means I've got quite an oblique angle on the um, on the tiller rather than a, than a direct push and pull on it you kind of twisting your hand to steer which gives you less less control over the rudder so a couple of things I don't like about the entry the middle is fine with a nice wide base um, another thing I didn't like was on the exit I quite often ended up with my feet Together in the boat again quite a narrow a narrow base for the weight which would make it a little bit unstable so kind of finding flat water but if you hit a wave or anything it can be a bit a bit sketchy so I decided to have a look um, at what the sailors were doing with a bit of um, bit of sailing with uh, Francis and Tom um, just looking at what Francis was doing in her jibes and also having a look at some of the videos online of the, uh, of the top 49 sailors. This is one of the videos that I caught online which I quite like the look of. It's uh, Dylan, Fletcher and Alan Sign. This is one of their really early videos. Unfortunately in the later ones they don't show kind of the boat work this close. Probably for obvious reasons because people like me go and copy it or more importantly their rivals. But um, it's quite early days, I think, in their campaign, but um, when I saw this, there's a couple of things that I thought I could transfer to the 800. Um, before we get into it, I mean, it's first of all worth saying that, you know, the 49er is a more powerful boat, more powerful spinnaker than the 800, so the jibing angle is also always less in the 49er, and the jibe's essentially quicker. It powers up a lot quicker on the, on the new jibe. The 800, in comparison, uh, has a much bigger turn to make, slows down more during the turn, 
so you never get quite the um, the pop on the jibes that you do in the 49er. Um, the other thing obviously with the 800 is we've got, rather than these solid wings on the 800 we've got racks, which means your fo footwork has to be a lot more specific in the 800 compared to the 49er. Um, but there was a, you know, a couple of things I liked about um, Dylan's jibe here, so we just uh, play it through, have a look. So what I really noticed was on the entry to the jibe, he's uh, bending his legs from underneath him, so he's not standing up tall like I was doing, he's kind of bending his legs. Um, he's leading with his hand along the tiller and uh, keeping that hand nice and low so he's still got a direct push-pull on the tiller, he's not lifting this hand up high. Okay, he gets stood up a little bit for a second, but more or less he's really low on the entry to this jibe. Again, moving his hand through. Uh, footwork's a bit different. Obviously, he can tread wherever he wants without putting a foot between a rack and the hull. So he does quite a few more steps than you could get away with in the um, in the 800. But no, it's a really nice jibe, and I think kind of that low entry to it body position with the hand down um, is really good so just watch that back one more time hopefully Dylan won't mind me nicking a bit of his footage from probably about 10 years ago now <laughs> but yeah really nice jibe from them so that was one of the things I wanted to incorporate into our jibes on the 800 was kind of keeping low on the entry but uh, what I needed to figure out was a bit of footwork um, and actually got this from uh, Francis, he sells the club. Here's a bit of footage of uh, Francis and Tom doing their jibes and kind of just going to scroll this back a few times and have a look at Francis's footwork. Uh, talk about what I really like about it. Remember what I said about Dylan and keeping the hand on the tiller extension low and leading with the hand through the jibe to keep your centre of uh, gravity down low. Um, but the also the other really good thing about Francis is the footwork is she goes she takes this back foot and goes straight to the middle of the deck so she doesn't step on the gunnel uh, and then goes through with her old front foot to the side of the boat back foot to the gunnel again so she's keeping a nice wide stance um, at each each part of the manoeuvre so just have a look so there you go first first foot down, it's gone straight from this rack to the middle of the gunnel, hands still along, um, body position nice and low, um, even when she first stands up, again she's bending her legs loads as she unclips from the trapeze, keeping this hand nice and low, again nice bent legs, low body position, steps the back foot first and now you can see she's bringing through her old front foot to place that in the middle of the deck on the new side again nice wide stance um, then brings through her old uh, back foot and this goes straight down on the gunnel so again she's got a nice wide stance here between the two and i think in this um in this example Francis goes straight for the handle and goes out on the wire relying on Tom to clip her on but she also does a few jives where she grabs the uh, grabs the hoop down here clips on and goes out but kind of all the ingredients are there like for the footwork um, which look really nice so basically it all starts with doing this longer first step from the uh, from the rack into the boat so longer first step keeping the body weight nice and low, keeping the hand on the tiller nice and low and uh, yeah just really really nice jive from them so I think I first noticed that I was out on a I think I was doing some coaching for 200s and these guys were out sailing and I saw a couple of their jibes and kind of noticed the way that Francis was moving into the boat nice and low um, and how that kind of contrasted with me and what I was doing stood up really tall and losing balance sometimes so between 
kind of seeing what Francis was doing and seeing what um, Dylan was doing and some of the other 49er sailors uh, started working on my own jiving technique to um, uh, to try and improve that. What we're looking at is moving in, bringing this back foot from the gunnel and instead of stepping on the, um, sorry, this back look foot from the rack, instead of stepping on the gunnel here, we're going to be stepping right into the middle of the deck, which is much better. Um, so yeah, so this front, this back foot goes straight from this foot loop into the middle of the uh, middle of the deck, then I bring through the old front foot to the middle of the new side. Then bring the old back foot through to the gunnel. So I'm stood over the top of this uh, trapeze hoop to hook myself on and move out. So this was improvement on the footwork, but it's still um, still one thing I didn't like about it, and that was on the way in. I'm still stood bolt upright, uh, center of gravity quite high in the boat. And that also means that this hand is quite high to low extension, quite a steep angle, which gives me less control over the rudder. So what I'm really looking for next is to keep this hand low and lead in to the boat with that hand, sliding on the tiller, keeping a bit more control. So um, this is looking at keeping the hand low now, as well as the footwork at the same time. Um, not massively windy, probably kind of low mid-teens um, but you can see really looking at keeping this hand um, sliding along the tiller extension as I step with my back foot straight to the middle of the boat. So kind of watch this, this hand here. So yeah so instead of standing up tall on the entry I'm leading uh, with my hand like we saw Dylan do and Francis do, keeping this tiller extension nice and low. So I've got a direct push-pull on the tiller, nice control over the rudder. And I'm stepping with this back foot straight to the inside of the deck rather than the gunnel. So keeping these feet nice and wide apart. Next foot comes over, steps middle of the new side, so you're a bit cross-legged but still quite a nice wide platform. Then bring the old back foot and plant that on the gunnel, uh, swap hands and you stood directly over the top of the trapeze hoop, um, ready to hook on and step out. So yeah, that was the, uh, the new jibe and yeah, I think it's pretty good, I think it's a bit more consistent. Um, the old jibes were good and I could be nailed one, you nailed one and uh, that was really nice but um, sometimes you could lose your balance standing up too tall so this definitely, this definitely gets around that and um, yeah, really good technique, happy with the uh, improvement and it's just, just now a case of locking in this technique and um, yeah, locking in this technique and getting practice at it and kind of you know, becoming second nature. I'm still thinking about what I'm doing as I'm going through the jive at the moment, but I'm sure that will come good in the uh, in the future. Okay, well, hopefully this is giving you a bit more insight into the um, the practice we're doing, the kind of small things we're working on, and um, yeah, it might give you a bit of food for thought on your own jiving technique and little stuff you can you can try to uh, to make some improvements.